All right, hello everyone, and welcome to July 4th trading. This is a 150K step two top step combine. No, they don't have tip, uh, this account anymore. If you'd like to trade top step trader, I've got a link in the description box, use it. We're here, we're live. Got a high, low, higher, high. That is a breaker. Let's get out our standard deviation projections on this breaker. Um, we'll aim for three. That seems reasonable to me. We'll aim for a three standard deviation move. Yeah, I thought we were... <laughs> I guess I was a little bit ambitious last night, so we're actually down right now. Yeah, we're down a couple hundred. Okay, using our advanced breaker block theory that we learned last night, we took this as our breaker, high, low, higher, high, push into liquidity. Put that standard deviation down below. That takes us back to this sell side liquidity we just made. We'll see how that works out. advanced cap theory last night we were talking about that let's get down to the one minute no inefficiencies remaining open obviously we had this SIBI here that we closed off did get a lower high five minute so this is a breaker block here point A to point B to point C that's a push into liquidity that's an ICT breaker, bear's breaker. And using that as for standard deviation projections, that takes us down into liquidity. So let's see if we can get there. All right, we're here, we're live. We're trading holiday uh, hours, so obviously we're not trading that long today. We've got about two hours of trading that I can do left. So, Yeah, can't trade that long. Well, we're here. We are live. Oh, we just got a displacement. Let's see if that stays open. See if we can use any of our advanced gap theory concepts. On a three minute chart, that gap is open. That's good.
So you might be wondering why this high, low, high is not a breaker, because that's not a breaker. It's got to be a high, low, higher, high. High, low, higher, high with a good push into liquidity. Now that's not really a good push, but it's still a breaker. So price comes back up to basically break even here. It should have a reaction. watching this start to get some retracement we'll take it off take our profit and run take that. That's uh, not quite 300. Let's see if it gets back up to the breaker. Let's short the exact same spot. Plus take a spread. Let's see how that works. So we just pushed into liquidity here. So we might get a reaction off that. Come back up to our bearish breaker. Uh, I think price might target like a good reasonable target. I don't know if we get to London lows in two hours maybe. Here's our London low down here. Could go target that. I would say ultimate target for the day would be London low. I don't know if we make it. I'd like to see if we make it back up to this breaker. Get short again. It's a 150k uh, top step account. Uh, I use top step as my funding company. Go use it. Good company. Look forward to trying to get to that express funded again. Yeah, I'd like to make it to a profit today. I don't. I don't know if we're getting funded today. That would seem unlikely. It's probably not going to be funding today, but we can make it back up to one, uh, make it back up to break even. We're at a small loss right now. Uh, yeah, I was kind of worried about if it just goes straight down to the target, doesn't come back up to the breaker again, leaves this gap open. I see that as unlikely, leaving a gap open right now. But it's leaving a gap open right now. So 
Yeah, I probably got I got out of that trade prematurely. You can see that I got out of our trade there with three points. Short here, cover here, pay some commissions. It's three points. That did give us uh, like two hundred dollars. I'm trying to get getting back up to our breaker. There's a one minute breaker right there. A, B, C. Uh, these breakers are pretty commonplace. So you can see low, high, lower, low. Uh, didn't quite push into liquidity though, so that's not the best looking breaker. But low, high, lower, low. You can see that it came up to two standard deviations of that. See that right there? Two standard deviations. So that one did work on the bull side. Probably going to rewatch the breaker video today. You should go watch it. Advanced breaker theory, ICT breaker. See if I can find an example of it on a five minute chart here. Low, high, low, or low. So that was a breaker right there. And you can see it came up just over one standard deviations, about one and a half. So low, high, lower, low. Although it didn't push into liquidity really, so again, not the best looking breaker right there in the five minute. But it was there, and it did give you it did give you that uh one standard deviation move higher. Yep. Alright, well it's going straight to my target I guess. Without me. Is there anywhere where I would want to get long? Coming down. Let's try. Could try long at the three standard deviations. Let's try that. Let's see what price has been doing recently. Price should get a reaction there. I think. There should be a reaction at three standard deviations from the one minute breaker. Or we could get short of the invert that wig. Let's try that. Right there. See if it wants to invert that wick. Negative four standard deviations is 350. That seems ambitious. If I can get short, I'll then aim for that four. So I'm gonna be filled on, on one of these, long or short. Relative to this dealing range here, we're coming into a deep discount. You can see that in uh, pink. Deep discount is coming in, coming into the consequent encroachment here. Basically my profit target that I had a few minutes ago that I let go for some reason. Oh man, that was dumb. That was Damola. That was not too smart. Should have let that, let that go. All right, we're gonna get filled long here.
Going to look for a three standard deviation move from our ICT bre uh, one minute breaker and then invert the consequent encroachment. Or, sorry, just find support here on this wick. And then aim back for this wick. So we should get one more push to, uh, to get filled. Push to fill this three standard deviations. I think that's seeming likely. Maybe come down below the wick a little bit. Let's get on our regular trading hours. This is not regular trading hours, huh? Because of the holiday, so, alright. Never mind. Never mind. Don't comment about volume, please. I don't want to hear about, oh, there's no volume. I don't believe in volume. All right, we're long. Price could come down to the four standard deviations here. That's a likelihood. I'm going to aim for a retracement play. So a retracement back up almost to the uh, first standard deviation. Just to the invert inversion of this green candle. Go tag this green candle's midpoint. That's the that's kind of the current thought process. Yeah, so that green candle right there, I want price to go tag that. Go tag that green candle. Uh, using our ICT one minute breaker here, I'm looking for a retracement back up to about the negative one standard deviation or one standard deviation. I got long at three standard, three uh, standard deviations, and I'm going to try and get a retracement back up to the screen candle here. It's order block. Yeah, that's an order block. It's got an inefficiency with it. We're going to call that an order block. With this green candle right here, I want it to come tag that green candle keep price efficient. You see we've got a BISI right here and price is probably not in the mood to be inefficient so it's probably going to come in and fill that BISI. SIBI. Sorry that was SIBI. I don't think price is in the mood to leave any of these inefficiencies open so that's why I think we're coming back up on a retracement. So we just made a SIBI. I think this first SIBI is going to be closed, and then the second SIBI should be closed. I, th I don't think price is going to want to leave that open. Could make it down to four here. I'm not going to add on any more contracts. You know, obviously, I don't think price is going anywhere today, meaning that I think it's going to trade uh, efficiently. So I don't think the price is going to leave these sibbies intact. Price should come back and take out these sibbies. Could make it to the four here. We're in liquidity now. We're in some short-term liquidity below this low. Two-minute low. We're in some liquidity. Currently sitting in drawdown. We got long at the 
at this wick right here, midpoint of that wick. Three standard deviations from our one minute breaker. We're looking for a retracement play now up to this green candle up here, order block. Uh, we're driving to the floor. Yeah. Driving to that four. 350 is probably going to be tagged. Two ticks off. See if it tags that 350 now. It's uh, probably going to tag that 350 evens on the next candle. Alright, push through the 350 evens, four standard deviations, four st uh, STDs. I understand what that means. I don't care. I don't want to say standard deviation every time. So you're just going to have to get over that. If I say STD, I, you know I don't mean the other meaning. I mean standard deviation. And uh, I'm going to say it because it's easier. Sorry, not sorry. All right, it did go down to four STDs. And uh, found support there and got a, got a pretty healthy reaction. Um, we got long at three STDs, but uh, price reacted uh, pretty strongly there off four. Just below 350 evens, just two ticks into that. So basically the spread algorithms giving themselves the room to maneuver room to maneuver with the spread I think we're gonna come in and uh, fill in these sibbies here so sibby here and sibby above that should happen that's what I'm anticipating price to do is come in fill sibby 1, sibby 2 the current thinking Uh, 
Well, we pushed past, we're pushing past the four. Would not like to see it push much lower than this. We did get a good initial reaction. Don't want to see it get to the five, really. We prefer not to see it get to the five. Probably should not want to leave these sibbies open. Let's get on the five minute chart. You can see that our four standard deviations comes in right there at this green candle's open. Five standard deviations that basically that green candle's low at this volume imbalance here. So we should, I mean, I have reason to believe that there should be a reaction here to come back basically to my sell limit. Maybe a little bit higher. Kind of do something like this. Yeah, that's that's kind of what we're thinking. That's kind of what we're thinking. A lot of y'all are kind of scared to trade holidays like don't be scared of something that's not moving. Be more scared of the one that's moving like madness. That's what you should be scared of. New subscriber. That's good, guys. Uh, all right. We're sitting in uh, $500 of drawdown, fake dollars. Um, waiting to see if we can get a bullish reaction. Four standard deviations, four STDs. Uh, four and a half STDs would be right there, I think. I know what it means, guys, and I'm sorry. I don't want to say standard deviation every time. I really don't. So, just shy of that four and a half STDs. Let's see if we come tag it. Price should not want to leave these sibbies open. Should want to come back and fill in the sibbies. Obviously, my entry was suboptimal. We came all the way down to uh, 350 evens, four standard deviations. So my entry was suboptimal. I went for three standard deviations, thinking we'd turn there. We actually got below four. Four and a half might be tagged. There's four and a half. See if we get a reaction off that. Nope, pushing through that. Let's now we're looking for five. Fifteen minute time frame. Five minute time frame. Yes. I could have scaled into this, gone one contract at a time. I figured with today being what it is, I wouldn't do that. All right, we're pushing to five. Push past four and a half, pushing to five. Let's open up six. Six would take us down here. So 
that's what it's looking like if we get even lower. Volume imbalance here would be a good place for price to react. Long wick inefficiency, another good reason for price to react. The next volume imbalance as well. Okay, just tagged five. And we're getting close to where we have to close this position out. Take a loss. I'll let it go down to six. And then, uh, then I got to close it. Take a loss. All right, we got a reaction off five. We also got a reaction off four. So now we get a reaction off five. Very perfect reaction there. Oh, good reaction there off five. Yeah, good reaction there off five. Like to see it. Let's make sure that this drawing here is locked. We'll keep that on the chart probably for the course of the session. Our session is going to be another two hours with you guys. So, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. Came down just into this liquidity here. Got a reaction off that five standard deviations. And now I want to see if we can come back up to this green candle. Come in and re-deliver these sibbies up here and make price efficient. Nope. Back down to the five, pushing through the five. We got a good reaction there off five. Five was a good reaction, but it didn't want to follow through that initial reaction. Let's see the second attempt. If we reclaim that five. Do we get another good reaction? Nope. Would prefer not to see it go down to that five and a half. We're in a volume imbalance now. I'm expecting a reaction, a big green candle at any point, really. Coming down to five and a half. Pushing. I'm expecting a candle to look like this soon. Just people are going to start, you know, thinking this is breaking out or something, and it shouldn't. Okay, we're coming down further than I'd want to let it go. I'm getting close to closing out this position, but just going to give it another minute. Almost came down to the five and a half. Yeah, I should have got long at the four or the five. Got long at the three. Got good initial reactions off the five. Reacted off the four, reacted off the five. Almost came down to the five and a half.
I logged into Twitter, uh, Twitter and it thinks that I'm in Houston. Oh, yeah, we're getting that good reaction. We got it almost at the five and a half. So it's basically the five plus a healthy spread. And I'm expecting us to come in and re-deliver Sibby 1, Sibby 2, and Sibby 3. At this point, if you were short, uh, you should be closing that out. In my, uh, you should be closing it out. I have enough disclaimers out there, guys. I mean, I have so many disclaimers everywhere. But just in case it's not clear, this is simulated trading. I don't have, guys, I don't have $156,000. I wish I did. It's top step trading. This is simulated. I have the opportunity to make money uh, and, earn, and earn a paycheck, but not with this account. It has to, it has to be the next account. So we got to keep working. We got work to do. Got hard physical labor, watching candles. Very difficult physical labor. Um, all right, good green candle there. Um, I would expect price might come back down to the five again, and then form a good three candle swing. That could be a possibility, or price at this point could just rapidly price up. And we have Sibby one, Sibby two, Sibby three, but I think price might come back down to this, form that three candle swing. Very healthy, good reaction there off that five. We got Sibby up here. Now, this, let's see if that was, okay. Just gonna take that as our breakaway and take that as our measuring. Take it from there to there. With our swing initiation. A yellow box. Take that from the low. Clone that. Let's take it from there instead. That was two standard deviations using advanced gap theory, and it was five standard deviations using uh, advanced breaker block theory. Okay. That should have been our swing terminus there, guys. Right there, that should be our swing terminus. We should initiate a swing higher, uh, I think, at any point. 
think we're getting close to our swing higher. My entry was um, was off the mark. The mark was the four and a half or the five. You could have also used advanced gap theory. But now I think we could come all the way back up. You know, speaking of which, I'll change this to four. And just in case we get all the way back up to the breaker, put one there. And that's going to be a retest of our uh, one minute breaker. I don't see that contract. I don't think that's going to be filled. That's why we're going to take four off here. So, guys, I am trading a uh, top step trader. They've treated me really well. Uh, they're good folks. I recommend their company for funding. I'm trying to get funded with them. You know, actually, a company is an it. It's not a they. It's an it. With it. And really, you shouldn't end a sentence with a preposition, so it's there with. Nobody speaks like that anymore, though. I'd like to get funded there with. That is proper English, though. Yep. A jury, by the way, is not a they. It's just an it in the United States. A jury is an it. Not a they. It's a collective mind. It's, uh, the mind of 12 people or 6. Collectively, it's an it. It's not a they. The jury, they did something. Nope. The jury, it did something. In England, they say they... But in, in uh, U.S. legal parlance, a jury is an it. You see multiple people, but they're a gestalt. A gestalt. It's a collective consciousness. So that's why we say a jury, it did. A jury, it decided to sentence the felon to five years, uh, not sentence, but decided to render a... Uh, guilty verdict on counts three out of four rendering not guilty verdict on count four a jury it decided it's not a jury they decided no sir a jury is a singular it's a gestalt consciousness twelve minds coming together All right, what are we looking at here? Well, we got a good reaction um, off the five, almost pushed down to the five and a half. I think we're gonna re get back up to the one, maybe higher than the one, okay? Come in, fill in this, we've got Sibby, 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 Sibby. So we're pretty inefficient all the way up. That was our breakaway gap there, measuring gap. We, using advanced gap theory, we moved down two standard deviations. Using breaker block theory, we went down uh, five. Probably wondering where the breaker is. There it is on the one minute chart. High, low, higher high that pushed into liquidity. That's our breaker. Okay, you're probably wondering where advanced gap theory is. Breakaway, measuring. Breakaway, measuring. Or even breakaway, measuring. We'll say that's breakaway and that's measuring right there. Or breakaway, measuring. Either way. You're already, you're already on cat videos, though. I know you say that you want to learn ICT, but... You can't, you don't have the attention span to actually watch it. So don't come crying to me.
Yeah. I'm never getting that average view duration up. Y'all don't have it. But y'all will say that y'all want to learn ICT, but when it's, you know, smacking you in the face, you're, go you're off to cat videos. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm going to try my best not to swear in the videos. I will try. Okay, guys, we're in a step two account, so we need to be closed out here in two more hours. We're down to, back to that five. I would like to see a reaction off that five again. told you that I was kind of expecting it to do that. So we have a good swing here. We've got candle one, candle two. That's a three candle uh, swing. If we can get this to turn green and then start uh, initiate initiate our swing higher. Actually it initiated right here. This is really just a, um, a shakeout. But it's, a, it's reclaiming that it's, it's filling in that inefficiency to be specific, but back down to that five. Good reaction off the five. And now I'd like to see it um, come back up to the one, go above the one. Let's see if I can get all five contracts filled. I'm going to go in one contract deeper. And that contract is going to come off at the two. That is all the risk that I want to take. Uh, I'm not clicking that button again. So uh, let's try and get to the two. Um, just shy of the one, we take four off. And then if we can get above the one, back up to our breaker, that would be good. Ten minute chart. Let's get back to the five minute. Okay, we're at the four and a half. You can see the price uh, did respect that four and a half initially. I'm kind of expecting price to do this sort of thing, not to come back up cleanly.
All right, we are uh, just sitting below that four and a half. Would prefer not to see a new low. We're six contracts long. We're in drawdown. Um, we're aiming to come in and re-deliver the inefficiencies that we have higher. Would prefer not to see a new low. It would be okay for it to come down to the five and a half and then bounce, though. It would it would not be uh, a reason to close the position. So it could make a new lower low and then rally strongly. Which uh, you know, all in all, I would prefer not to see. But it's possible come down to this five and a half new low and then rally from there or even come down to the six let me see where the seven takes us okay seven's down here I think seven is unlikely Well, guys, welcome to my uh, video journal entry of um, my attempt to get into professional day trading using a firm called Top Step Trader out of Chicago. They're a Delaware LLC, but they're out of Chicago. Um, they're in the Chicago Board of Trade building. I've tried other funding companies, and I'm sticking with Top Step. So I highly recommend if you want to get into uh, prop accounts, try Top Step. I am trading using models uh, disseminated to the public by Michael Huddleston, our inner circle trader. The models that I'm employing are breaker block theory and you could also say advanced gap theory. What is breaker block theory? It's a type of order block in which price makes a push into liquidity before turning in the opposite direction. So what it looks like is high, low, higher, high, and that higher high should ideally push into some liquidity, um, which we could see that that high did right, right there. That's what makes it a good breaker, a valid breaker, because it pushed into to lick. And you need that. You should have it. So high, low, higher, high that pushes into a higher time frame liquidity. So this was a valid breaker. So we're using breaker block theory. He just made a video about it we're using standard deviation projections. We're also using um, some other some other variables like we know that it's a holiday, so price does not really probably want to be uh, go into the holiday short and close inefficient. So price is going to want to close up all of these uh, holes. There's, there's a hole there, hole there, and a hole there, and a hole there. And so I have reason to believe that price is going to want to paint back over our inefficiencies pretty quickly. Uh, it is on a time schedule today, so I don't believe that price is going to want to leave these open. I think it's going to want to close them out. And it's got to get there in a hurry because it's only got two hours to do it. 
so So this, the purpose of this YouTube channel is to document, uh, document this journey in my life that I'm making a sincere attempt at, okay? Got a good reaction there off the five, so two reactions off the five. Now we're pushing back above the four. Um, our position is at break even, right at the three. We're trying to get back up to the two. Uh, one contract's going to come off at two. Four contracts just shy of the one, and and one contract all the way back up to breaker, if we can get that. That's kind of aggressive. That might come at the very end of the session. I don't know. Ten-minute chart again. Good reactions off the five, holding that support there at that four and a half. Let's get to the one-minute chart. About the same. We are coming back down. That would be an immediate rebalance there. If we can get a good reaction, that would be an immediate IR, immediate rebalance. That would be a good uh, sign if we can get an immediate reaction higher now. A good green candle this point we are looking for healthy green candles that's what we want to see healthy green candles yeah that's what we're looking for
I'm stocking up on some thumbnails. All right, uh, price is not doing what I want it to do exactly. I'd like to see it uh, immediately rebalance right here and shoot higher. That would be ideal, but uh, it's not looking like it wants to do that. It would be ideal to get just a, a healthy fat green candle right here, right off that candle's high. It looks like we're going to push down probably to the midpoint, probably back down to the four and a half, maybe all the way back down to the five, maybe new low. Okay, we could invert that, that tiny wick there as well. Ideally, I'd want to see that high get bounced. That was kind of ideal. That'd be an immediate rebalance. Sorry y'all are hearing that so much, I'm stocking up on thumbnails. I'm almost done. I'm gonna... and I'm keeping her. For sure. All right, came back down to the five. So we're not adding on more contracts. might add on one more here seems do we make a new low that low comes in at 45 quarters that low was 45 quarters that's equal lows okay all right all right I'm almost done Good thumbnails. I'm harvesting thumbnails. That's a pretty good reaction, but uh, I do think it's probably coming back down to the five and a half. Volume imbalance here, little five minute balance price range, midway point of that would be right there. Yeah, uh, this, this, you know, this has all, all the hallmarks of a spot at which price should react. 
And so with that being said, contract seven is going to come on there. And this is going to go up to two. So now our average position is just sitting above uh, this current little range. So I think uh, we can afford for it to come down to the five and a half here. Uh, we could afford for it to come down to the six or seven. We definitely don't want that. We are starting to print some green candles here. I might have to take one more. Oh yeah, she's got to be a thumbnail. Yeah, for sure. She's way too attractive not to be a thumbnail. That's probably going to be this video's thumbnail. She's way too attractive not to be a thumbnail. Yeah. She's going to be a thumbnail. She looks all smart. Candlesticks behind her and stuff. Light bulb. Yeah. Kind of like New York looking, you know, skyscraper behind her. Yeah. Looks all smart. That's a thumbnail right there. That's going to be this video's thumbnail for sure. Good looking and smart. That's a thumbnail. Guys, it's not where price is now that you need to worry about. You need to know or you need to have an idea, a hypothesis, a thesis about where price should go. Okay? Notice that I'm not trying to react to price. I'm anticipating like this is where price should want to come back. I'm anticipating. I'm not reacting. That's the big difference, guys with all of the systems that you're still trying to use. I am not reacting to price. I mean, I'm keeping, you know, track of it and I'm following what, you know, what I think it's doing right now, but I'm anticipating that it should go back up. Why? So that it's efficient coming into tomorrow, coming into Wednesday. That's why I'm anticipating that it should come back up. So it is efficient for tomorrow. Why should it be efficient? Because these are electronic holiday traded hours, so it should not want to go into tomorrow during, especially, you know, going into tomorrow, it should not want to leave any inefficiencies open so that we have a, the start to our regular trading hours week efficient. That's why I'm anticipating that price should, in theory, come all the way back up. Does it do that? I don't know. But notice that I'm not reacting. There's no reacting here. It's all anticipation. It's all projections. It's not reaction. That's the key difference.
So let's show you the executions right now. Um, as you can see, we had a short on earlier that, you know, unfortunately we took that off too early. We made three points there and we could have made this whole move down. Uh, so we bought five contracts here at 353 spot five. We bought another contract at 353 evens, another contract at 347 quarters, which totals us up to totals us up to seven contracts. I'm allowed 15 at this point on my account. Uh, I don't really want to trade 15. Um, I could. I'm choosing not to. I'm choosing not to. So uh, we are. We initiated our upswing right here. We came back and retested that low, and now we are probably looking at a healthy swing back in our direction. I anticipate, and I do not react. I anticipate that we should come in and fill in these inefficiencies, the holes in the chart. Now notice that I was telling you that it should probably do that while price was still going down. I didn't react at all. There was no point at which I reacted. I anticipated. I expected. I had models in my head and on the chart. Okay, this is how far price probably will go. Right? No reaction. All anticipation. Yeah, I mean, you read price, right? But not for the purpose of reacting thereto, for the purpose of anticipating thereto. That's why.
Guys, we are trading a 150k combine from a company called Top Step. Top Step Trader LLC out of Chicago. They've treated me well, guys. Uh, they've got good customer service. Um, I'm working my way up to try and uh, trade for them professionally. Yeah, that is the goal to become a professional trader. That's my life stream. That's what I want to do. So, that's what this YouTube channel is all about all the time. Now, you will hear me talk about other subjects. A lot of the law. I'm an attorney. But, uh, that's not what I want to be. But I am. Okay, a little balance price range here in a four minute. So, you can see we have a Sibby and a Bissy right across from each other. Kind of forms a V. That's a four minute balance price range. That's good. Uh, we could come back to the four, okay, and then go higher. So uh, at this point, I'm going to let this trade play out, okay. I don't believe there's any reason for me to take off a contract here. I think that's too early. I have no reason to believe that price should stop right here, turn on a dime, and, and go back lower. Uh, no reason to believe that at this point. I think it could go down to 350 evens. But then we should come up, start filling in my sell limits, I think. Okay, 350 evens is probably in the cards. What it's doing right now is it's reacting off this black candle here, inverting that wick or that order block right there, you know. Uh, it's also making break and retest traders think that, uh, you know, that's a break and, and retest. Uh, it's not. It's not. It's just an algorithmic signature. So you might see um, a small reaction, but I think it should probably remain small, and then we come all the way back up. The market will make you think that whatever model you're using is going to work. So if like you are a break and retest trader, right? It will make you think that it just did that when it didn't really do that. It's playing games with you. Breakout traders, some went short there and some went short all the way down here and they're really in trouble now. Their positions are way underwater if you thought that was a breakout. If you were a breakout trader and you went short there, you could have rode that for a few points. You could have ridden that for a few points. How many of them are even trading today? I don't know, but there's enough of them out there. Uh, they are there, even on, even on July 4th. They are there. So, you know, break and retest, classic kind of stuff. It'll give you a few, probably a few points here back to 350 evens. But uh, it, it's not catching what price is going to most likely try and do, which, it, which is be efficient. Which is why it should paint roll all the way back up. Okay. See how that plays out. Guys, required disclosures. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Trading futures involves substantial risk of loss, including more than you initially invest. What you're seeing on the screen is simulated trading, which may not represent live market conditions. Legal disclaimer. I am a licensed attorney in the great state of Texas. What you are seeing in front of you is not a solicitation for legal services. No matter how often I talk about lawsuits, I'm not soliciting you. Uh, please don't contact me. Okay. If you are in the great state of Texas, um, I could represent you. I don't want to.
I just made my daily wage. And we're going up some private Discord memberships soon. Imagine how many private Discord memberships uh, if I would have waited a few more minutes, right? Be a lot of private Discord memberships. A lot of them. Yeah, many, many, many private Discord memberships. I do like talking. I just don't necessarily like you answering. Guy okay, asks a lot of questions. It's always the same guy. Guys, if you want to be a shark, I'm, I'm looking at the Inner Circle Traders Reddit. I'm going to talk about this, and I'm going to be pretty critical, and probably in a separate video. But looking for someone to trade the New York session with live, screen sharing and voice chat and stuff. And then I got, you know, multiple people saying small group would be good. Great. Going to DM you. Can you also consider me, but I'll most likely join the following week. The real reason why you're doing that is because you're not confident in what you're doing yourself. And you don't really understand the material yourself. And you think that other people have the answer. Uh, there's only one guy who really has the answer. And that's Michael Huddleston and the Lord and you, you know you can tell me that that's not true and that's mean but it is true and it is mean but it, it is true guys if you're trying to trade in a whole big kumbaya circle or a private discord it's because you don't really get it yourself or you really don't want to put in the work or really are not confident that you really can understand it you can break through and understand it. It's possible, okay? But it's gonna take a lot of work and you're gonna hinder your learning uh, if you depend on other people. So this whole looking for someone to trade the New York session with live, what are you gonna do? Like you, you guys, that's why companies have a, a CEO, chief executive officer, because a company needs direction like we like you have to take decisions and you have to just go you have to do it. it you know you have a board of directors yes but you have officers you have a chief executive officer you have a chief financial officer because you got to make decisions for the company they might be right they might be wrong but you can't just sit there and dilly dally you got to go right you want to start a business in some ways you just got to do it you, you you know you can't think about it too much you do need planning planning is good but there's always balance to these things, guys. You know, in, 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 in the past, when it came to history's generals, what was his name in the Civil War? Um, crap. Meade, I think. Union General Meade. Um, he, he failed because he was too meticulous. He was too cautious. You need a balance. You need to be sometimes cautious and sometimes aggressive. It's yin and it's yang. And this, you know, looking for someone, this comes from user several stop one four three four. Live trading. They'll never watch this. They don't nobody watches my freaking channel, so you're never gonna watch this. Looking for someone to trade the New York session with live. Screen sharing and voice chat and stuff. Guy, you're not going to get there to the promised land. You're not going to reach your potential if you're doing that. Why? What is another person going to tell you other than make you doubt what you think you're seeing on the chart? 
That's why partnerships are generally a, a bad deal. Because partner A and partner B are not always going to agree. All right. Generally speaking, a, a business model of partnerships have, have historically not worked that well. They don't. Um, you have to have leadership. You have to make decisions. You have to make executive, meaning cognitive, definitive, resolute decisions. Sometimes you're going to fail. But dilly-dallying and talking with everybody in your kumbaya circle, you're never going to reach your potential and be a shark. Me, awesome, I'll DM you. I'm down for that. Great, going to DM you. A small group would be cool too, lulls. You're not going to be a shark with this shit. You're not. Can you also consider me? I'll most likely join the following week. Sure, I'm looking forward to it. Yes, DM me, please. Kumbaya circle. This is why I'm not interested in talking to any of you. I will outwork all of you. I'm in competition with you. Doesn't mean I hate you, but it means I'm going to outwork you, outcompete you. Take your money. And you think I give a fuck? That's not to say that the good people at Top Step, uh, their customer service is great, their trading coaches are good, but guys, it's kind of like, how do I explain it? When you need to make a business decision, somebody's got to say, that's what we're doing. And if you're sitting there in a Discord channel, in a live chat, and you're talking while the markets are actually moving, I think it's doing this. I think it's doing this. None of you are making decisions. None of you are learning. Think. Why are businesses that are partnerships generally fail? It's a bad model. You would need executive decisions. What does that mean? To, be, to have an executive decision maker. You plan and you strategize and you could talk with other people about the strategy, but one guy's got to, a man or woman's got to call the shots. Like, we're doing that. All right, we've made a game plan, execute. Okay, we've, we've strategized now. Let's go, we're going there. When it's game time, you can't have 20 people talking to you. Guys, what's wrong with you? When it's game time, when the markets are live, you're and you're trading, get away from me. That's why I tried live streaming with a chat box on and I started immediately getting other people telling me what they thought that price was doing. And that made me not confident. Made me doubtful of what I'm doing and what I'm seeing. And I think I'm better than you at, at, at this, at ICT. I think I'm harder working than you. I think I can have a much better interpretation of what's going on with price than you. I'm competing with you. I am your competition. I'm not your kumbaya circle. I'm not. I'm just not. And if I'm, you know, that doesn't mean that... When the markets are closed or when I'm not trading, I'm your friend. When the markets are open and I am trading, get away from me. Because it's time for execution. There's a time for strategy, there's a time for planning, and then there's a time for we're going there. And we're doing this. And we're now, we're now executing. This is why people fail. Their businesses fail. It's one reason, it's not the only reason. But it's one reason mentally why businesses fail. They spend all day dilly-dallying and strategizing. At some point, you meticulously plan and then you execute. That's 48 Laws of Power. Robert Greene. You make a business plan and at some point you have to say the planning stage is over. We're going. We're executing. We're doing now. And so don't come at me with, I want to trade with you in the morning, Reese. Let's do a video chat while the markets are open. 
No. Uh, how about open up your wallet? I'm taking it. Okay, enough of that. Let's see what our markets are doing here. We are getting a reaction off the off this bis sibby here. Uh, we could come back down right here to uh, 351.50. Might come back down at a drawdown. Might come back down to this balance price range. Last thing on that, guys. No, I don't want to talk to you. Not when the markets are live. I'm competing with you. Are we clear? I'm an opponent. Like a chess chess player. All right, I'm trying to become Magnus at day trading. Period. I'm trying to become the Kasparov of day trading. The Spassky of day trading. The Hikaru Nakamura of day trading. And I'm not going to get there if I'm sitting there bullshitting with you while the markets are moving. Because i got to execute. i got to execute now. Planning is over. It's execution. This is a business. You can't plan your business. You plan your business. You, get, you make a model. You make a schematic. you got to have a business plan. What's the next step? Execution. We're putting it into action. We're either... You know what? We're either going to fail or we're going to succeed. We're probably going to fail. If it's small business, you're probably going to fail. But every single time, we plan, 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 execute. That's it. I've got a business plan. Top step trader. Get funded. Get into the live prop account master the craft become a profitable day trader okay what is step two fund my own trade station account trade my own trade station account what's this what's step three YouTube earn monetization on YouTube that's step three what's step four affiliate marketing with top step Try and get some money coming in from the referral links. Okay? Affiliate marketing. Step That's step four. What's step five? Interest-bearing accounts. Bonds, certificates of deposit, short-term premium selling options. That's it. That's it, guys. That's the business plan. I can only, you know, only execute now. I know what the plan is. It's time to execute. It's time to go. It's time to do. You can't plan forever. And the reason why you want to trade with 10 other people talking to you is because you're not confident. It's because you are not confident in what you're doing. And that's okay. It just means you got to spend more time learning. But you're, you are going to hinder your progress if you really think that trading with 10 people live while the markets are open, if that's a good thing for you, it's not. It's not. It isn't. It is not a good idea to trade with 10 other people talking with you while the markets are live. Not if you have a comprehensive system. Not if you're trying to learn. Not if you're anticipating price. What does the other guy know that you don't? Maybe one day he or she tells you something that you didn't see in the chart. That's fine. But wait until the market is closed before you collaborate. I don't like I don't like Casper's model. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like Lumi Trader's model. Why? They're hindering other people's progress and they themselves when the markets are live, I don't want your your ear coming through. I don't care how smart you are. I don't care who you are. I don't care how long you've been day trading. How much better at day trading than you are. Me. I don't. When the markets are live, I don't. I don't. I don't want you in my ear. I want you to be ten miles away. That's a fact. So when I listen to Casper's stream and the markets are live, and he's got other people saying like stuff to him. I think that's a hindrance. Sorry, Casper, I do. A hindrance, not a benefit, a hindrance. 
a hindrance to you and your day trading business listening to this other guy talking to you saying some bullshit while the markets are live what does he know that what does he know that you don't know so no markets are live it's time to execute it's not time to form a kumbaya circle that's why partnerships generally fail guys partnerships are no good they're not a good business model you have to have executive leadership it doesn't mean you need to be a petty tyrant that's not what I'm saying but the reason why partnerships fail is infighting you have to have executive leadership if you don't where when are you ever gonna execute you won't that's why I'm not really certain political views of mine you can imagine uh, but no it's I mean at some point in the business you gotta gotta go like you gotta execute now you can't have 10 people this is what I think the company should do no we've game plan now we got plan A, B, C, and D alright we chose plan B and let's go It's planning and then it's execution, guys. If I were to ever do a community anything, here's exactly how it would be. It would be I talk, you listen. Why? I don't care what you think, number one. Like, not at all. I will outwork you. I will outgrind you. There's no doubt in my mind I'm probably smarter than you. Maybe not, probably. But I know I'm harder working than you at this. I'm not I'm not a 20-year-old joker in college, guys. This is what I want to do as a career. This is my everything. This is this is everything I think about all the time. You're not going to outwork me. You can't. You got 10 kids, they're all screaming at you. The wife is screaming at you. I got nobody. I got beautiful silence. So you can't tell me that you can outwork me. You, you're in college. You're, you got jobs. You got ten screaming kids. You got like thirty of them. The wife definitely doesn't like you doing this, right? Your parents don't like you doing this. It's a hindrance. It's a distraction. why partnerships are a bad model there's no leadership you can't do 50 50 guys not be it's a bit it's a business it's not kumbaya it's not a tribal circle it's it's chess it's chess it's it's a strategy game sorry it is it's poker. It's a zero sum game. So don't be coming out. I think I think that we have SMT divergence here. I don't care what you think at all. Like not the slightest. I don't care how nice you are at all. I I know you can't outwork me. You got 10 screaming kids. You got three jobs. You don't have the time to devote to study that I do. And I do and I do and I do. You don't. And you won't. You don't have you don't have the single minded focus that I have. When I want it, when I need it, I call upon it. And you don't have it. You're watching cat videos on TikTok. You're watching Pineapple Brad on Snapchat. Jesse Sinatra. I yeah, I have looked at their stuff. Yeah, but not when the market's open. All right. Um, there's no real reason for me to uh, get out of this trade at this point. This this thing is a balanced price range here. 
Okay, we're done with that conversation for now. Yeah, I mean, I think we're looking at maybe the four and a half here. 348.25 is, is in the cards. Maybe 350 evens is in the cards before we go higher. You don't have the single-minded focus that I have. You don't. And you won't. I'm autistic. Like, are we clear? I'm on the spectrum. And you're normal. I have a single-minded determination. I'm like an... I'm, I'm a... I'm gravel. Not gravel. I'm granite. You got ten screaming kids. You got a girlfriend. You got a wife. There, she's mad at you. I got this. So why would I open myself up to a trading discord anymore? Well, the markets are moving. Why would I do that? What in this NASDAQ price chart are you going to see that I'm not seeing? Tell me. Maybe it's there. If it's your damn Bolger band, two. Rouse. I have to be out of this position by 12 o'clock. It's one hour. My time, CST, so that would be 1300 New York Global Time. I've got to be out there. I've got to be out of this position in one hour. Um, the market might not give me what I want here. I thought we would want to end efficiently. Uh, we'll see as we come up on the new hour if we can get uh, some large green candles to come and finish, finish us strong. Uh, we're coming back down to this balanced price range here, coming back down to the four. Um, did get a little bit, so we obviously came up to the midway point of this SIBI and, and got a short-term reaction. At this point, I have no reason to believe the market should not want to end probably right around where my four sell limit is. That being said, I've got to be out of this position in one hour. How many of you older men, if you were to try and do what I'm doing here, right? How many of your wives would support you? I know I have older men that watch this. How many of your wives would support you doing this? Some of you are like, yeah, she's absolutely on board. I know many of you. She's on your shoulder, right? I know. I know. And that's a hindrance. It's a distraction. Um, coming down to our BPR here. Oh, by the way, what I just said, many of you are like, yeah, my wife absolutely supports me doing what I'm doing. But I'm telling you the, whole, the cold hard facts that many of them don't. And you know who you are. And uh, if this is what you want to do, by the way, with your life and your wife, or your girlfriend, you know, thinks it's a video game or doesn't, you know, doesn't understand what you're doing and doesn't want to support you, get rid of her. Move on. Uh, what you should do. 
because she'll never if she doesn't support you you can't convince her There's one thing I've learned about the fair sex in my life is that you can really convince them to do very little. If this is what you want to do with your life? Your wife doesn't support you? Divorce. This is what you want to do with your life? Girlfriend doesn't support you? Get a new one. My opinion. If she does support you, hold that tight right there. You know, keep her. Keep her around. That's a good one. That's a keeper. All right, we're coming down to our balance price range here, midway point of that, 350 evens. Uh, I'm not out of this position as I have strong reason to believe that this should provide us some support. We're coming up on the last hour of trading, and I believe it should be a green candle higher. Um, that being said, I don't know how long I want to actually hold on to this position. It could just be a loss. But this is a uh, five minute balance price range here. So we have a SIBI bit. Well, that's not really a SIBI, but we have a BISI here. Midway point of that, 350 uh, evens. I'm surprised that uh, price would want to leave any inefficiencies in this chart coming into the close. It would be surprising to me, but it is obviously possible. So I'm just going to let this trade play out a little bit longer. I'm not going to give up on it just yet. You won't outwork me at this. You won't. All right, balance price range right there. Midway point of that consequent encroachment should be finding some support there, turning higher. That should be what it uh, wants to do. And we're on the new hour. Just start of the new hour here. Last hour that I can be in the position. Um, if this were a Top Step Trader Live funded account, I would need to be out in 30 minutes. As I'm on a Step 2 account, um, I can be out in an hour. Let's see Express Funded. Express Funded is also 11.30, so alright. If you're funded, you need to be out in 30 minutes, but I'm not funded, so... Uh, it could be out in an hour. I don't really want to see this thing make new lows, though. So that being said, it might just take a loss. I'm surprised 
you know, I would anticipate that the market would want to come in at least back up to this green candle here, that order block. I'm surprised it did not want to do that. Let's hide the drawings for a second. Yeah, I mean, I am surprised. I am surprised at this. It seemed odd to me. Uh, let's see if it actually makes a new low. I'm not going to close out this position if it doesn't actually push into this liquidity. It could even push it in by a couple ticks. That still wouldn't be enough for me to get out of this. So I can make sure we're, we're nowhere near the loss limit for today. Oh, we're good. Yeah, we made a third low at that same spot. 345 spot 25. This surprises me. Price wants to remain with inefficiencies. Got another balance price range we're coming into. Coming into the bottom of this balance price range here. Coming into this volume imbalance there. Uh, we're pushing into liquidity. We're coming into this black candle here. Okay. Uh, we're probably making a new low here. That's really unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, we got a retracement. Um, position went slightly positive. I, maybe I should have closed it out there. I really didn't have a, a big reason to believe at that point. I mean, there's an inverted wick here, and that is what price off which price reacted. Uh, we're pushing into a little bit of liquidity here. And, you know, overall, this is surprising to me. I was really anticipating that price would want to come up and re deliver these inefficiencies. Uh, it still might do that. We've got a little bit of trading left, but uh, it would need to do it in a hurry now. So I'd, I'd want to see it really come back up in a hurry, and it's really not doing that. So I'm probably wrong. Uh, we are probably going to come down maybe right here, come down to n an another liquidity. Uh, we're coming back down to the five standard deviation. We're probably going to see five and a half here, maybe six. Maybe six. And price did not make its way back up where I wanted it to go, which is uh, unfortunate. All right, if price is going to come back in my favor, it really, it, you know, it doesn't have much trading left, so it would need to do it uh, rapidly. And 
Yeah, you know, the only thing I'm thinking here is obviously we've left some inefficiencies higher open, which is surprising to me. Okay, it doesn't mean that it can't happen, but it's surprising. We've left inefficiencies open. We've pushed down and made a third equal low here. Ran out stops that didn't put the, you know, it still ran out some stops, basically. So pushed near liquidity here, didn't quite get there. See this drop into liquidity. We're not quite into the liquidity pool, just shy of it. We did get a tick lower, huh? All right. This would be a low, high, lower low. It would be a breaker if we got it. So let's remove this for a second. Let's assume this is our uh, A to B. Make sense right there that would make a lot of sense now not obviously right now uh, but for tomorrow's trading one standard deviation would take us there that would uh, that could be now it would be it'd be a pretty big rally for for today uh, I would see that as unlikely now you know three maybe tomorrow two maybe tomorrow one it's possible so we got our little sweep into liquidity here and I just want to see what a half standard deviation would be yeah okay that would be there I'll bring this down to there See how that plays out. If if my uh, theories are correct, uh, we just made a little breaker there, and our standard deviations kind of all point to this buy side liquidity up here. Um, it's not going to get to the one today, right at the close of trading, but I think it might get to the. 0.5 to a half standard deviation. I think that's a reasonable objective, and then all of my uh, sell limits are going to be ahead of that with one contract right at it. I can hold this all the way up to 12, and I'm uh, probably going to hold this all the way up to 12. Yeah. I'm going to hold it all the way up to the end. Yep. Uh, price does not want to work on my time schedule. 
So we have our breaker block forming here, low, high, lower, low, that pushes into liquidity. That's a ICT breaker. And then we have our standard deviation projections to the upside now. And a half standard deviation would take us up to uh, my one contract there. Okay. And I think a half standard deviation at the close of trading today is a reasonable target, I think, if we turn higher. If we get that turn higher that I think should come, like soon. But why not? It would, you know, close of trading is coming up soon, so. Um, I expect that, here's my current thoughts, um, I anticipate that a half standard deviation can be reached by the close of trading for July 4th, and that is in 45 minutes now. Uh, I would anticipate large green candles. Next 15 minute candles, I think the next one and the next one are going to be large and green. It's kind of what I'm anticipating right now. And it would need to start uh, accelerating. It doesn't have a lot of time left. So we need to start accelerating here pretty quick. If it wants to make it up to a half standard deviation. Which I think is possible. I think that's doable. Of course, all of our contracts are coming off before that. So on the way sort of on the way there, on the way to the destination. That's what I'm thinking. All right. We got 45 minutes left. If my theory about what price should be doing it, it really should be doing it now. And so 
It's not looking too good. Yeah. Yeah. It's not looking good. So this will probably be a loss. I'm probably looking at a loss. I don't see it coming back up at this point. Ugh. But I don't want to kill the trade. I think it'd be premature for me to kill the trade. All right, we're watching. Um, only got 40 minutes left. This is a step to account, so I can take it up to noon. Um, in hindsight, there was one trade today, and that was our morning move down. Uh, but because I can push this further, I will. I'm going to take advantage of that. 
your live funded and your express funded accounts would need to be closed by now. So you would not be able to hold on to this position. But uh, I can hold it on. So uh, I will be. Seeing if in the last uh, 29 minutes that I can hold on to this position further, if we get some rally up. Um, I kind of thought that maybe a half standard deviation higher would be within the realm of possibility. No longer seems that way. I don't believe price should have, should not want to go much lower, I don't think. As, of course there is liquidity down here, but we already ran out our short-term liquidity right there. Right there, ran out our short-term liquidity. ICT breaker went right back into it. Of course, optimal trade would have been on this swing down rather than the, the first one. Let me said, our cost average position here is not terrible. It's okay. It's not ideal. But we've got 38 minutes left of trading. We've been following this trade all day. So. All right, we're going to take this into extended time. Your express funded accounts would need to be closed in six minutes. I'm step two, so we're holding it long. We're holding it on another 30 minutes. Got another 30 minutes. We're holding this on. And uh, see if we can get any life out of this. Probably not. It's probably going to be a uh, loss. Probably going to be a loss. Or a scratch. Unless I get a big fat green candle. That's what I want. Daddy wants a fat green candle. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do.
All right. We're holding this on into overtime. Pass when the Express funded account could uh, have this open. So to be clear with Top Steps policies, if I were on Express funded right now, I would have to close this position right here. Uh, but I am on step two, so I do not. And I'm leaving this open as I have reason to believe we should come up into our Sibby up here, very close of the day. Uh, I'm probably going to run this thing right up to the very end. Yep, right up to like the very, very end. All right, we're going into overtime now. I didn't want to have to, you know, do this, but here we are. We're in overtime. We got 29 more minutes. I don't want to push it too much. I'm pushing this whole trade. Um, but... Mm. Screaming baby outside. Good Lord knows I hate them. I hate screaming and I hate screaming babies. I don't hate babies. I hate screaming. Let's be clear. Okay? Don't clip me. Good Lord. Oh, and it's screaming and screaming and screaming. Oh, I hate it. Ugh. Oh my God, it keeps going. Ugh. I hate it so much. All right, I got to put the headphones on. I really can't stand it. I really cannot. God, I hate it. Sorry, I can't scream in children. I hate noise. Ugh.
Mm. That was not a very good reaction right there off the midpoint of that Sibby. Coming back down to this Bissy. Um, if we're going to get any traction with this trade, it's got to be now. That's a really unfortunate reaction. Yeah, that was a pretty strong reaction there. I got to push this all the way to the end. Which is really not what I want to do. Well, that's kind of the position that we're in now. I have strong reason to believe that this should have a rally. But I got to push this all the way up to the end. I kind of misplayed this, you know. Uh, that's a bad reaction, yeah. That's unfortunate. Mm. That's not good. Yeah, it came up and reacted on the midpoint of this Sibby. And it's staying down. So... Uh, at this point, I really don't want to see it break lower. So this... Mm. Mm. We're probably unfortunately going back uh, backwards today. put on more risk. I do not. Uh, this was a bad reaction. This was off that Sibby. Ay, 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 ay. You got 20 minutes. That's kind of best case scenario. It's probably not happening. It's almost certainly not happening. Oh. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, didn't get it today. I'll still upload this video. You can see me taking a loss. Yeah, I could freak out, not take the loss, add on contracts. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat it in 10 more minutes. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're coming for a new low, huh? A reaction off the midpoint of that sibby, turn lower, come back down to these wick inefficiencies, sit there, maybe break a new low, come into this little short term liquidity here, close there, leave inefficiencies open, which I suppose it's not the end of the week, so it would it would be, you know, makes sense, I guess. Yeah, new low. Got ten minutes.
<sighs> Alright, I'm gonna do it even though I shouldn't do it. I should not do this. Um, the cell limits are just going away, and we're just going to start peeling them off. If we get any amount of movement back, we're just going to start selling them. We'll just start offloading. We'll go one at a time. Need any amount of retracement in, in the last 10 minutes. There, there's something. We're going to start peeling these off aggressively. If it comes back at all. Got 10 minutes. That's a good little reaction there. That's kind of a good sign. Okay. Get a last one. All right, now we're down to 350 spot 25. In the last 14 minutes here, I need uh, four points. At this point, we're going to start peeling these off. Ten, 10 contracts is way, it's just, oh. Of course, if we are just going to, you know, close out July 4th session here on a low, that would be unfortunate. I don't think it's going to leave that little volume imbalance in the chart. I have 13 minutes and then I have to close this out. I'm going to put it at 12 minutes and then I have to click the button. Eleven minutes and thirty seconds. We have a, a low, a high, and then another lower low here that did push into a little bit of liquidity here, obviously. That's a good breaker. That's a good breaker, it's a valid breaker. Yeah, it's a good breaker. 11 minutes. Ah, oh, I need five points here. Really squeezing this, probably shouldn't have. Probably pushing it today. Definitely pushing it today. I got ten minutes.
And it's probably giving me nothing. This was not good. Definitely don't want to see another new low, but might see it. <sighs> Got eight minutes. Yeah, and that's a bad tick right there. Ay, ay, ay. Last 10 minutes, 8 minutes for me, and then I'm closing this out. $1,000 loss, $1,200, $1,500 loss. I have to close it out. I was really working on this position. I did not think that the market would want to close this electronic session inefficient, but obviously we left inefficiencies higher, left those open. Which is surprising to me. Whatever I can get in seven minutes, uh, worse or better, that's why I'm closing this out. It's probably going to be worse. Seven minutes. Yeah, we're going to have work to do tomorrow then, huh? Can't get funded as soon as I wanted to. It's okay. Let's have work to do. Oh. Yeah, this thing's probably just getting worse. My original short idea was the correct idea. That was the correct trade. Six minutes. And this thing's probably not getting any better. Probably uh, getting getting worse. Six minutes. Could be a fifteen hundred dollar loss. The short this morning was the correct trade. That was the correct trade. And I got out of it super early, which was a misjudgment. So this is going to be a loss. Yeah, five and a half minutes. And I'm closing this. This is not coming back. I got five candles left. And they're not going to be good candles. I got four candles left, excuse me. 
pushing this right up until the end. Just watching my clock down here. It's going to be 12.59. Alright, I don't really like doing streams where y'all are seeing me take losses, but uh, not in the, you know, I don't want you to think I only win. We've been doing well on this account. We're still going to be up on the account, over halfway there. But we took a setback today. Um, I had a short up here using this breaker. Um, I kind of overestimated how much the market would actually want to come back. I still think coming into win, uh, Wednesday's trading, we're probably looking at coming back and, and ripping this buy side here. But uh, clearly it's not going to do that right now. So, it's holding this up to the very last minute. Like literally the last second that I can hold this open. If I weren't express funded, 30 minutes ago I'd have to be out. But I'm not, so I'm not. In rapid theta decay now. Market's going to have to rapidly reprice. All 10, if I can get that, will come off right there. Let's see if I can get that before I have to close it out manually. I'm on my phone as well. I got three minutes and then I'm, I'm clicking this button. I put a limit order in the market for a scratch. And a scratch would put me at 156, 861, which is a small loss on this session. If I got a scratch, which I don't think I'm getting a scratch, but I got three minutes. I'm closing this at 12.59 manually. I also have my phone open as well. So I can close this on my phone. Limit order would take me out as well if I got that limit order. I've got two minutes. And then I'm going to be out. I'm taking this right up until I cannot take it. Because this thing uh, is going to trade for another 15 minutes after I have to close it. Unfortunately, if this were not top step, I would hold on to this, pass resettlement. But I cannot. That would be a rule break. Yeah, if this were my own trade station account, this trade would go on. Uh, but it's not. Just holding this right up until the very end. And it went back against me, unfortunately. Yeah. I was trying to squeeze, squeeze that. Got one more minute, and then it's closed. I didn't get it. Did not get it. I was then I was aiming for a complete scratch. Oh, and a turn lower on me. Oh, hideous. Really hideous. Really, really hideous. Yeah. All right, we got work to do tomorrow. We're going one contract. We got to grind this back. That's really hideous. I got to end it at the absolute equity low. God damn it.
All right, we're out. We're down 2k on the session. That was that was a bad fill. All right. Bye.